Most of them, their mothers have died or their mothers have abandoned them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the ones that we have had from a very early age, that yeah. is, we've had quite a few uh, newborns. In fact, we had baby Betty, yeah. who was just admitted recently. Uh, I think she's only eight weeks old. Okay. The mother died, and uh, if there's no facility for breastfeeding a baby here, the baby dies. Right. And uh, back home, we can go and get formula milk yeah. and make it up out here. They can't do that. and. Even some mothers can't breastfeed, it's yeah. just a condition that happens back home as well. Mm. And uh, we were talking to one mother who actually watched her baby die. Yeah. So basically a lot of these other ba very young ones, they would all, in fact, all of them would be dead yeah. uh, if we hadn't rescued them. But I said most of them have their own story. The ones that have lost their mothers, we purchase the baby milk here yeah. locally uh, off uh, the local supermarkets mm -hmm. here. It's very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that we do try to ship out here. It's, it's very difficult because we only have a container from another organization coming in here maybe once a year. Uh, but we try and build up donations of uh, SMA and kind gate milk back at home and bring it out here. Uh, it saves us having to pay the uh, exorbitant prices yep. for it here. Yep. But ordinary people can't afford to buy that milk, yeah. so their babies die. So, their babies die. Um, so even if the mother dies and there's a sister mm -hmm. or a grandmother yeah. to look after the baby, if they can't breastfeed that baby, yeah. at those early year, those early months the baby dies. So there's, there's ten babies that are alive today that would have been dead and there's three babies that would have probably become child prostitutes. That's, that's correct. There's, yeah. there's 13 babies in care here. Yeah. In the that would have either been dead or in, in prostitution. Yeah. is mine.